Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going over the Pathfinder Canteen Bundle from ZipTac. Alright, really exciting video for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to give you a bit of background on how I come about getting this. Uh, I received a package in the mail one day uh, last week and I thought it was my zip box from ZipTac. However, I opened this up and not actually knowing what it was, I started doing a video on the zip box and I uncovered this here because the zip box is a mystery box. I uh, opened this up and to my surprise, this is not what is in the zip box. So <laughs> no spoiler alert here. <laughs> so what actually happened was a very good friend gifted this to me and I'm eternally grateful for the gesture. It's absolutely magnificent, this bit of kit. So without further ado, let's get into it and uh, see what it comes with. So just so you know, this is on the ZipTap website and this is a full Pathfinder bundle that uh, Joey's put together. So we'll start with the outside and then we'll get on to the, all the goodies on the inside. So first of all, just up here, I've got the fire rod that come with it. So nice big chunky ferro rod, and it's got a glow in the dark handle. Uh, the reason why I've put it on the outside of the pack there is that at night, I can use that glow in the dark for a pack finder. So I know where it is. So we'll get that off. And we'll go over the front here. There's a nice big quick release clip here with this D shackle here as well. Um, that houses the strap that comes down to the bottom. Nice sturdy carry handle. Everything's well stitched, very well stitched. I mean, it's Pathfinder. I highly doubt Dave Canterbury's going to skimp on his gear. So on the side here, we've got another D-clip here for the, uh, the shoulder strap there. And we've got some molly on each side. On the back, we've got some more D-shackles here so that we can uh, have multiple mounting options for it as well. But we also have the molly straps there as well and also we have a pocket in here at the back which is where I'm keeping my Milbank bag uh, for day trips so that's the outside of the bag there this um, is a really nice strap as well it comes with a detachable shoulder pad which is really mm. helpful to stop this from digging into you if you've got a little bit of weight on there so we'll open it up with that big clip, there's a nice clip. And at the front here we've got another pocket. And on the inside we have another pocket in here and the main compartment. So on the inside, let's have a look at the gear that came with it. We obviously have the ferro rod. It also came with uh, the mini Inferno all-weather fire uh, tabs. So a nice little tin here, reusable tin. So you've just got these little discs here. These are waterproof, and it has actually said that these will actually perform better when they're wet but um, fully waterproof so all you have to do is tear that open and expose the little fibers in there and that will light up with a spark from one of these so really good bit of gear and it's going to give you uh, five to seven minutes of burn time which is quite phenomenal actually um, I'm not sure how long it would take to boil some water with one of these things here. I don't know if you'd actually get it up to a boil with one of these, but there are quite a few in here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six of those. 
So there's quite a bit of time in there to get some water brewed up. I don't know if you would want to waste them, but you can always cut them up a little bit and um, just use them as fire starters. So let's get into knife, fork and spoon. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think Dewey's trying to tell me something. And that might be that I've got an extremely big mouth. Because look at the size of that spoon. It's huge. I didn't need to buy a trowel. I could just use that. Good Lord. But another really good feature with these is um, obviously the spoon's got some notches there. Um, and the knife and fork have got the... Um, the holes there and they clip in now the spoon gives it enough to bend that and put tension on here so they don't slip out and, and essentially fall apart in your kit so that's a really good feature I like that we have a fish mouth spreader fish mouth hook thing that um, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I've been trying to find one. But a really good design here to keep it closed up like that is that they've put the angles on the uh, on the steel there so it actually just nestles into itself and it won't spring open. So that's a really good thing. One canteen lid with the three boil holes in there and the handle. Now I really like this handle because you can put it up and it'll stay up so you're not having to fumble around on a hot lid to grab that handle it holds tension so you're able to keep that up so it can stay cool and so you don't have to put your hands on that when it's hot to try and pick it up so nice and easy and everything is branded with the Pathfinder label as well it's etched into it so a really nice touch Okay, the big Kona, the canteen. What else have we got in here, actually? Just before we carry on. No, that's it. So just to go over the rest of this here, you've got a uh, little bit more of a pocket that comes up there, and it's got the drawstring on, so you can close that up. And... There's a couple of pockets in there as well, on each side, top and bottom. Just uh, so you can put these things in there and they don't clink around on the canteen. I've actually got that canteen full of water, so this is the bag that the canteen comes with. Uh, obviously you can buy this separately as well. This was designed for this, but you can use it for many other things. So this pouch here, has got some shock cord and toggles on the side so you can cinch that up so it doesn't sort of move around. So we just undo those. The quick release buckle at the front there and that's adjustable as well. And it's also got the elastic there so that you can put your, uh, your tag up there so it doesn't flop around and keeps your stuff nice and tidy. So We'll take this out. It's 1.2 litres, I think. Something like that. A decent size, anyway. Uh, it's all stainless steel. The lid is plastic. Um, and it has a really nice rubber seal in there as well. And, uh, yeah, it's nice, nice fit. So this here is your canteen cup, but with a little bit of a kicker. So we undo that there, and your stove comes out. So a really cool system there to keep everything really nice and compact, um, and to keep it all together as well. So 
super awesome. So there you go. A really nice feature with the canteen cup here is that it actually has measurements on the inside. Now, I did look inside there to see what measurements it starts at, and I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't go all the way down in like 50 mil increments or 100 mil increments, because it does start at 400 mil. Now, I like the backcountry cuisine, and they require 220 to 250 mils of water, and I would have really have liked that to have those measurements on it as well, just to make it a little bit easier to gauge how much water to put in those meals because they do have to be fairly specific um, to get them just right. So just a simple little setup here with the clip that slides down into those little grooves there and that's gonna stop your handle from slipping down. And of course, when you nestle that and you close this up, making sure that this little slide here is all the way to the top. Clip that down and your stove won't fall off. It's a really cool design. And of course, this just fits straight onto the top there. And I've been looking for one of these lids for my old canteen for a long time. And I'm so glad that I've got a full awesome setup now. So thank you, you know who you are. I won't mention any names. But uh, this pouch also has molly attachments on the back here. And the snaps are really good too. They're really hardy snaps. Um, obviously, if you attach this to your pack, you're going to slide these down in here. And what that's going to do is when this pulls out it's not going to um, it's going to stop that from clipping off so if you do it like this without putting it in that loop obviously that's going to open up and it's going to be easier for that clip but this way it has to pull this way before it comes up so it's just going to give you a whole heap uh, better attachment couple of little pockets on the side here they're just velcro so you can just put a little fire kit in there or um, some water purification stuff or whatever you want to put in there I'd, I'd probably put a fire kit and some water purification stuff in there myself because if you were just gonna hook that to your pack and take that out for a short hike then you know, you could put some food in there or, you know, snack on a bar or something like that. But uh, many different options there for that. So that's pretty much the Pathfinder Canteen bundle from ZipTac. Uh, there will be a link in the website, um, in the description to the website so you can check these out. Um, this one, actually, I'll show you what that one does. So specifically, a lot of you already know what this does, but for anyone that's new, I'm happy to show you. So this has got a rolled lip on here. Now, this one squeezes and that hooks onto there, which means you can hang that up above a fire and boil your water. So a really good idea that, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'll clip that back on. Okay, this is a phenomenal kit. I absolutely love it. You know, I've never had quality before, and now that I've, I'm working good hours and getting some decent money, I, I get to experience a bit of quality. So um, even though this was gifted, and I oh, can't thank you enough to who you are, that, um, that you got me this kit. But um, even though it's a really good kit, I have to pick out the flaws because it wouldn't be an honest rev uh, review if I didn't. All right, so 
everything here is good and everything here is good probably actually the only thing that i would pick on this is it doesn't have a steel lid but um the rubber seal in there you wouldn't be able to heat this up with a lid on it anyway because it would pressurize and probably blow up in your face and that is uh sealed so it's, it's actually bonded there so yeah you don't want that anyway so actually nothing to pick on with that this here is all good i can't really fault that except with this bag when this is inside the bag the stitching here obviously has a little bit of a lip and these little bits here catch on that lip when you try and pull it out and it just makes it a little bit difficult if i was to pick on anything with that so when you're pulling that out yeah that lip it's not just those hooks actually that that catch it's everything so that lip can catch on it it just makes it a little bit difficult to take out of the bag but that's a minor thing these pockets here it would have been nice if they had have come and closed all the way down just for a better sort of seal uh, there's a lot of air in there um, although these are wider than the actual pocket so it's probably not going to really matter if you get a little bit of rain on there so another minor thing um, this bag is really cool I really like this bag I don't think I can really pick on anything on there except actually yes one thing if you own a Caribbean 50 litre ops pack like I do you'll really love the double layered molly uh, strapping on it because you've got your standard strapping and then you've got the large strap with the small strap over it and these large straps are really good for alice clips the only problem with this bag that i can see right now actually there are two is that is not sewn down the middle here onto the bag and i would largely say that's because of this d shackle um, patch here but to attach an alice clip uh, alice clip to that like a uh, a water bottle you can't really put any weight on it because it's just going to pull that down because it does, doesn't have that support in the middle if that was stitched down here that would make it a lot stronger you'd have less pressure on your end points here um, but other than that they are a good strap but yeah that's the that's the one thing i'd pick on with those straps um, and the lid um, when you do this up it doesn't really it doesn't really fit you know it's uh, at the back here it sort of bulges out a little bit um, I would really have liked the lid to have full coverage the whole way around uh, even at the back here to cover up these back holes there because if you if you do get a light sprinkle or you are in the rain a little bit you really don't want water getting in there or um, possibly You really don't want to get water or bugs or whatever in there so <sighs> bloody crows go away noisy buggers yeah so that's pretty much all i would pick on so there you have it guys that is the pathfinder canteen bundle from zip tack Go and check out the website, have a look, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. 
and check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Getting really active on Instagram now, which is really, really good, and uh, it's starting to get some traction, so happy days. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.